give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. Just it could be a million different things, but this is diversity. And this is what I look for when I'm trying to plant things. So you get your tall grasses in there, big blue Indian, get your switch, which are clearly your natives. And then you get different forbs in here. There's some sunflowers. There's some ragweed in, ragweed in here, a little bit of goldenrod. There's a little bit of different clovers, uh, like a prairie clover, rather. So not your traditional clover, but... And then there's just some, some weeds that came in, and it kind of changes every, every 20, 30 yards. This is just some older native grasses that have kind of let do its thing. Right here, the soil gets real bad, so it gets short. And back there, it's real tall. Some little blue stem. Now we're back into some more towards the bottom water soil, so again, it gets above your head. And this is more predominantly natives again. But got some forbs. There's some different flowers in there. I wouldn't say extraordinarily diverse, but definitely considerably more diverse than a monoculture. It was about speaking. So it's got a little little areas in there that get shorter, different types of plants, so it's got you know it's got your thick stuff for the deer really tall cover for the deer or for birds and then you've got your shorter areas um, with little seeds and forbs for birds quail turkeys pheasants etc and then right here's a little edge which is again just another cover change structure difference over there there's another another field of different type of a native grass so kind of changes every few hundred yards if i guess you'd say it doesn't have to be that way anywhere but this is just one example